our book for today is called Fairy Science and it's grades K through three. Uh, this book is by Ashley Spires. Special shout out to our friends at Broward County Library for helping us check these books out. Thank you guys. Esther does not believe in magic. This is unusual because Esther is a fairy and fairies are all about magic. They use magic wands and they mix magic potions. Some fairies even make magical fairy dust. Shaboom! Esther's pretty sure that's just dandruff. She's the only fairy in Pixieville who believes in science. Esther prefers facts, data, and hard evidence to wishing on stars. Unfortunately, the only thing they teach in fairy school is magic. Class is very frustrating for Esther. Fairies were born when a drop of rain passed through a rainbow and landed on a flower bud. When the flower bloomed, the first fairy took flight. And for Miss Pelly Petal. As you can see from this chart, it is more likely that fairies, as a species, evolved in response to influences such as environment and diet. Esther can't help observing the world differently from everyone else. Where other fairies see a path to hidden gold, Esther sees light and water colliding. Follow the rainbow! The water helps us see all the colors that are hidden in the sunlight. That's dispersion. Where they see a dangerous omen, she sees condensation. When the temperature is just right, water droplets are suspended in the air. Woo! Where they see faces of the spirits, she sees erosion. Rocks get worn away by water and wind. The faces are just your imagination. I don't think they're listening. Esther can't wait to teach the scientific method to her fairy mates. Ask a question. Do some research to find out more. Make a hypothesis. A fancy word for guess. Do experiments. Study the results. Draw a conclusion. Eureka! Or you could just do magic. She shows them the periodic table. This is a list of all the elements that make up the whole universe. No, not all of them. Where are dreams and wishes and sunshine? She even demonstrates gravity. Whee! We can go up, so we must be magic. Gravity is why things fall down instead of up. They just don't get it. That was definitely gravity. <laughs> and there's definitely something wrong with this tree. It's wilting. The fairies do their best to help. They cast spells. Alakazoo! They make magical talismans. They even do mystical moonlight dance dances. But nothing works. The tree keeps on wilting. Esther hmm. asks a question. Hmm, why is the tree wilting? She does some research. She makes a hypothesis. She tries some experiments. She studies her results. At last, Esther draws a conclusion. Eureka! The tree needs more... Sun! Simbalaboo! Simbalabi! I'm doing some magic! Save this tree! Now she waits for the sun to do its work. Ah, oh. hmm. It took a while, but the tree is looking positively perky. She did it! Esther has proven the power of science! Miss Pelly Petal did it! Magic saved the tree! Well, at least she thought she did. She might not have changed the other fairies' minds. Hip, hip, hooray! <sighs> But Esther has inspired some questions. How did you do that? Can you teach us science? And that's where every good scientist starts. <laughs>